Hello everyone. Today here I am with you another video of daily minute series. Okay. In daily minute series, we are discussing about the various types of questions that was asked previously in the examinations. And also we are giving some explanation related to that terminology. Not only this, but we'll be also providing you the lecture on some few important topics or current affairs. So please subscribe our channel so that you could not miss any video. Now let's start the lecture. First question is a system in which trees, agriculture crops and pasture are grown together in the same field. Okay. Now, before explaining these questions, let us understand the various options. What are the options and what are their meanings? Okay. First option you can see it is related to sylvie pasture. Second is agri sylvie pasture. Third is sylvie horticulture. Fourth is agroforestry. And fifth is tongue system. Let's understand one by one. First is agroforestry. It is just, uh, what is agroforestry? It is simply a land management system in which we increase the use of land by the combined production of roots, crops, forest, animals, everything. We, along with the agriculture activity, we do the production of we, we do the production of forest also. That is agroforestry. Next is Tongya cultivation. In Tongya cultivation, what we do in the initial days of establishment of the plantation, that combined stand of woody and agriculture species, means woody plant as well as agriculture species, we grow up. Next is silvi pasture. In this, there is a cultivation of trees plus pasture for the animals. Silvi horticulture, silvi for trees and horticulture means horticulture crops. Again, it's agri silvi pasture in which trees plus crops plus pasture. Now, what was our question? See, a system in which trees is there, agriculture crops is there, and pasture is there. Then according to the option sensor will be agri silvi pasture. Now our next question is, the increased performance and superiority of F1 hybrid over its parents is known as. First option is back cross. Second option is dust cross. Third is heterosis. Fourth is somatic hybridization. And fifth is interspecific hybridization. Now let us understand. Intervital hybridization means hey, the in this both the parents are of the same species. Maybe that um, varieties are different or races are different. Okay, when they are hybridized, when we undergo hybridization, that is known as intraspecific hybridization. Okay, intraspecific means within the species, and interspecific means two different species. Next is somatic hybridization. What is somatic hybridization? We see in this development of hybrid plant is through the fusion of somatic protoplast of two different species. Okay, their somatic cells or their somatic protoplast are fused of two different species in somatic hybridization. When you talk about the test cross, what is test cross? First, we come to the back cross. See, when one, do, the one dominant parent and recessive parent are crossed, then F1 is produced. Okay, now this F1 is also of dominant nature. Now, when F1 is crossed with either of the parents or dominant or recessive, that is known as back cross. And if it is crossed with the recessive one, that is test cross. And if it is crossed with the dominant parent, then it is known as out cross. Generally, genetic, yeah, genotype composition of the parents, to know the genotype composition of the parents, test cross is done. Heterosis means what? That which F1 hybrid has been formed, that has superior, if that hybrid have superiority over both the parents in the terms of yield or other character that is known as heterosis. Means our answer is heterosis. Back cross. Just I have explained you back cross. Okay. Next question is unwanted removal of off time plants that are generally seen in the field are mimicry weeds, satellite weed, noxious weeds, rock weeds, and robin. See, mimicry weeds. Means such weeds looks externally similar to the main crops in morphology. That is known as mimicry weeds. And what is known as sat satellite weeds? Satellite weeds have same maturity period, yeah, same maturity time as the main crops, and as well as they have the same height. So it is very difficult to operate, from, uh, remove them from the main crop, that is satellite weed. 
noxious which words means which has been declared as undesirable the notor notorious extremely noxious and poisonous that is known as noxious weeds rock weeds means other variety plant if it is in the main crop that is rock weeds and rubbing means removal of off type plant from the main crop there our answer is rubbing what is a smoother crop options are a crop which nourishes the main crop by with the way of nitrogen fixation and or adding the organic matter into the soil second is those crops plants which on growing leave the field exhausted because of more aggressive nature this already you have seen what is this now then those crops which are able to protect the soil surface from the erosion through their ground covering of the foliage and root mats those crops which are grown for sale to earn hard cash the intro crop which is able to suppress the growth of weeds let us see now see nurse crop a crop which nourishes the main crop by the way of nitrogen fixation and adding the organic matter into the soil that is nurse crop means nurse crops what do they do do they increase the nutrient availability on the soil what is exhaustive crops which are growing in the field means those plant crops which are growing on the leaf the field and when after their growth they leave the field field exhausted because of their aggressive nature that is known as exhaustive crop now is cover crops these crops are able to protect the soil from erosion of from wind water or both by covering their foliage and root mats okay now is cash crops simply uh, those crops which are grown for their sale and earn hard cash that is known as cash crop the intercrop which is able to suppress the growth of weeds that is a smoother crops means it suppresses the growth of weed then our answer is smoother crops according to the recommendation of icmr the vegetable consumption should be how many grams okay 250 gram 300 gram 350 gram 400 gram and 450 gram the answer is 350 gram okay see according to icmr they have fixed the daily consumption of vegetable meat or egg everything when you you can see in the our course we have given the, in, in all this data in details you can visit our website you can see our course there everything is given in detail parallel and anti parallel strains of dna dioxin double helix are joined together by okay oxygen bond carbon bond hydrogen bond amino bond and covalent bond first you know what is dna okay this is see in dna what happens there are polynuclear chains okay polynuclear chains mean chain means there are many nucleotides okay apart from this it contains nitrogenous bases like cytosine guanine adenine thymine and sugar deoxyribose dna means deoxyribose nucleic acid okay these all four nitrogenous bases again they have uh, uh, sugar that is deoxyribose again they have phosphate group the one nucleotide nucleotide is joined to another nucleotide by covalent bond but what happens there is a pairing of suppose it is a double stranded stranded dna okay one stranded nitrogenous base is joined to another another stranded nitrogenous base by suppose adenine joins to thymine cytosine joins to guanine okay they join by hydrogen bonding okay but two uh, two uh, two nucleotides nucleotides they are joined by covalent bond so th then according to the options it what is the questions parallel and anti parallel strains means two different parallel uh, two different strains of dna molecule helix joined together they are joined together by through the pairing of nitrogenous bases and that nitrogenous bases are joined to each other by hydrogen bond then our answer will be hydrogen bond okay this is the details of our course which you can see you have all the, the types of course you can choose according to your choices see you in the next lecture